people are tired of this, I, I notice. Even in Brazzaville, now I have to keep reminding even my own colleagues, pull your mask up above your nose. That instinct to connect is very strong. I have to say myself, that, okay, that's far enough. <laughs> you can talk to me from there. very painfully aware of economic impact, not only on countries, and I'm worried about what this will mean about financing for health in the future. We're in the phase now where the governments have done the lockdowns, which bought a little bit of time. And I truly believe that they did have an impact of uh, moderating what could have been a worse situation in, in the region. I've been struck by the by the determination of the African leaders to tackle this and to do this together. But you know, the, the economic cost is too high. They can't keep this up forever, both for people and for the countries, and they are now opening up. And my concern is that, you know, if, if people's livelihoods have been so badly affected, people are going to go out there looking to earn their living. If people are struggling, it may be quite difficult for them to actually listen, hear, and make the effort of protecting themselves and others. We'll have to sustain these ways of behaving for quite a while. So I worry a lot about you know people understanding and the 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 the, the way of communicating with people that will not terrify them and and sharpen the stigma around uh, COVID-19, which is there, but will really help them to, to feel in some, to some degree in control and therefore feel encouraged to do what they know is going to help them. It's, it's, it's one of my big worries.